showing you how to create a simple web browser application using Microsoft Visual Basic 2008. First you want to open up Visual Studio and under File click New Project. Then under Visual Basic go to Windows, Windows Forms Application and rename the um, application to whatever you want. In this case we're going to be using Web Browser by Visually Basic. And then hit enter or click OK. It'll be it'll load and give you the default empty form. You want to stretch this out to be however big you want it. In this case we'll just make it the average window size. Now we want to look under the toolbox and look for web browser. The web browser click it and then click it onto the form. It'll make your whole form white. To fix this you want to go up to the X and click the little arrow. The arrow there. Click that and then click undock in parent container. Now stretch it out to however big you want the the, um, the image of the page to be. I would suggest making it all but the top area where our URL bar and back and forward button are going to be. So about like that. Now we have to add the buttons. So click the button under toolbox and click and drag it onto the form. Like this. To make it the same size you can just control C it. Click the button and then press control C and then control V and it will give you the one of the same size. I'm not going to do that. It will just copy it. Once you have those two buttons, we need one last button over to the right. Here. This is going to be your search button. Now just some minor adjustments. Okay. Once you have it to your liking, under the toolbox click text box. Click and drag it in the area between the two buttons, or the three buttons. This is going to be a URL bar. Now, we have to rename the button 1, button 2, and button 3 to be back, forward, and search. So click button 1, and in, under proper, in the properties menu, click text, button 1, and rename it to back. Now click button 2 under properties, un under text, replace button 2 with forward. Button 3, properties, text, search. Now we have to rename the form to something besides form 1 because that seems kind of dumb. So click the form under properties, text, my web browser. my web browser. Now that we have the the part of the program that the user will actually see, we want to actually start doing some coding. It's very simple. You only need like three lines of code. It's a very simple program. So first, double click on the back button. This will open up the code environment. Type in web browser one dot go back. That easy. Should just be like just like that. Web browser one dot go back. Now go back to the design. Double click on the forward button. Type in web browser one dot go forward. Just like that. Now go back to the design one more time. Now we need to click the text box and s under the properties menu scroll up and find the name of the text box which in this case is text box 1 but if you changed it you have to get the new name. Remember that this is text box 1. Now double click on search. Text 
type in web browser one dot navigate and then in parentheses text box one dot text this will make it uh, navigate to the URL typed in in text box one which is your URL bar the the project is done and the outcome should be something like this click the green arrow button that executes the program my web browser back forward search say I want to go to Google google.com search Google www.youtube.com search now go now if you want to test it out go back forward back forward all you want you can go back and forward and that is how you create a, a web browser using Visual Basic 2008 for more tutorials or information about Visually Basic, please visit www.visuallybasic.com.